Hello everyone, Colorado 8 here. Today I'm back with another Pixel Guard 3D video. In today's video, we're going to be looking at four weapon changes that, or not four weapons, what am I doing? Uh, like five weapon changes that got uh, buffs or nerfs or weapons that change for performance in general. And uh, I'll show you guys all those weapons right now. And I turned my volume audio completely off because the screen recording, the screen recording I'm actually using is actually kind of difficult to even hear me when I have the game sound on. So uh, there might be some music in the background, I don't know. So I'll show you guys all the weapons that actually got buffs and nerfs and uh, change the weapons in general. So I'll see you guys uh, for the first weapon. Now the first weapon, well not technically a weapon, This, all these weapons that are shotguns actually have this change. Well not um, all the shotguns have this, but uh, when you use something like the heavy shotgun or the predator. Uh, so basically what happens now is that the crosses don't really go up. As rapidly as you can see here the crosshairs continually go up but at the with the first few shots actually have been shot uh the weapons crosshairs are not very high <laughs> because um it's pretty crazy uh like look at the that that spread right there that's actually a pretty crazy spread well not even crazy spread actually because it's not that high like that's how close the duels go together it's like the last kiss from pixel god world so i could probably shoot someone out of medium range actually so i shoot this guy from actually a distance here as you can see here i easily took that guy out um, I doubt you'll get someone like this guy, um, you know, the bullets actually spread quite enough actually to actually all um, miss, actually, um, but, you know, if you're close enough, a little bit closer, but, you know, you can easily take that person out, I mean, you're not gonna easily take him out, he's way too freaking far away to even kill him, but, um, you know, as the first weapon change with all the uh, shotguns, I gotta use a different shotgun, actually, um, let me see here, our predator, there's only two people two people left, which kind of sucks, but I didn't want to join a match with a lot of people anyway, so, alright, here you go, it's with the Predator as well, uh, like the first shot, you could easily take someone out at a longer range, actually, so, you know, pretty crazy, like, the bullet spread, are, it's not very rapid anymore, I mean, they do continuously go up, what happened before is that when you shoot the first shot of the weapon, the weapon's crosshairs go extremely wide, but they don't even go as wide anymore, which is basically the change with all the shotguns in the game besides the Mega Destroyer, the Simple Shotgun, and the Xmas Destroyer, and the Assault Shotgun. But those are the only four. Uh, maybe I'll get this guy over here, maybe. Okay, we got. See, as you can see there, I got six. A lot of his health down right there. And uh, pretty good, actually. Now, the second change is with the Fast Death. Now, the Fast Death. Uh, this weapon is actually a semi-automatic weapon now, instead of an automatic weapon. And you all know, for the longest time, uh, for, since this thing was popular, uh, so you all know that's what this weapon used to be automatic. Uh, it shoots very fast, and, you know, now it is, since it's a semi-automatic weapon, uh, it shoots four shots at a time, like the Mercenary and the semi-automatic sniper rifle. So it's actually a pretty crazy change, because it's actually kind of big, because for the longest time, this weapon actually be, used to be automatic, but they actually changed it to semi so, I don't think I'm gonna get a kill with this anyway, just because, um, no one really uses this weapon at higher levels, actually. If you're a low-level player and you're watching this, which I highly doubt, uh, you know, no one even uses this at higher levels anyway, so, not really much of a, of a change for me, because I barely use this weapon. Alright, so, I'll try to get this guy with his anti-hero. Uh, the accuracy actually went up quite a bit, actually, with this weapon as well, I don't know why. But, uh, you know, the weapon actually used to go up and down when you actually, you know, the crosshairs... The aiming actually went up, up and down when you used to, used to use this weapon, actually. That was kind of weird. Alright, so we're gonna go to the next weapon now. Alright, so the next weapon is the Elephant Hunter. Now, the Elephant Hunter is actually a one-shot headshot now, and it used to be a two-shot headshot when it was actually removed from the game. But since it's since really soft, or the Pixel Gun Company, I should say now, uh, they actually buffed this weapon to a one-shot kill actually to for a headshot to an atom armor player so it's actually a really powerful weapon actually um not really the best sniper rifle it's not my favorite obviously the obviously obvious ones but the anti-hero rifle is the best one in my opinion because that weapon does shoot through walls and uh you know but this weapon is still pretty good um if i could even aim there's a one shot right there a one shot i don't think i can get this guy actually but um you know pretty good weapon actually so Maybe I'll get a couple more kills, maybe, against some of these players, if I can even find any more. 
All right, there's a one shot right there. So, perfect example of all these one shots right here. It's a two shot body shot, like pretty much all the other one shot kill snipers in the game. And pretty good, pretty crazy buff for the helicopter. Now the fourth change is with the smart, the Easter. I almost said smart bolts. Oh my god! But uh, the fourth change is with the Easter bazooka here. So the Easter bazooka uh, used to be one of the worst freaking premiums in the game ever. Uh, when it first came out, this weapon was extremely weak. You couldn't get a kill, and after I kill this guy right here, it's a one shot like there. Um, so this weapon is actually buffed to a one shot kill now. It's pretty crazy of how powerful this weapon is actually is now. It's pretty crazy, if you do ask me. Uh, maybe I can get this guy if I'm lucky. I doubt I'll get him, but... You can always believe, right? Um, against probably something like that, that, um, Dragon Whistle or whatever it's called, you're not going to beat them, or they, if they have the Wizard Wand, that's something you're not going to beat either, because that thing is very overpowered now. Alright, we're going to get this guy. I don't know why that wasn't a one-shot, but... Sometimes one-shot kill weapons don't even kill them in one shot for some reason. That's kind of a glitch with this game or something. I don't know. But they can kill them in one shot there, and it's pretty good. So I'm going to use the last weapon, and that weapon is that weapon that guy's using right now. It's actually the Wizard Wand slash Dark Mage Wand. They're both the same weapon, actually. So this weapon actually does area damage. And, um, you know, this weapon actually does area damage now instead of actually just not doing area damage. And, um... What else? Uh, this thing has an instant travel time, which is the crazy thing about it. It's like the portable death moon and the alligator. It's when this thing has an instant travel time. And, uh, you know, it's like the alligator pretty much. But the newer version of the alligator, probably the more overpowered version. I don't know why everyone uses this weapon over the alligator. I mean, this weapon's like a two to three shot headshot. Well, the wizard one is. The dark mage one kind of sucks, actually. It's not really a powerful weapon, but. Um, you know, it still performs the same as the Wizard Wand, in terms of how that actually works. So, you know, I don't have the Wizard Wand, which is why I'm not using it, so, it kind of sucks for me. I'm trying to get it right now, so, stay tuned for that. I might do a review on it or something, but uh, we'll see. So, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you guys did enjoy this video, uh, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more Pixel Gun 3D videos. I do tons of Pixel Gun 3D videos, um... I don't know what I'm gonna do for my next video because um air shower is still down. I'm using Visual Rec to actually record this and you know, it's kinda decent. I always having complications with the audio and stuff. But you know, pretty decent screen recording, I guess. Um I don't know what I'm gonna do. Maybe air shower will come back probably today or something. I hope so, because I will do some videos for you guys. And um I'm also gonna go I won't be active actually. I won't be here actually uh next week. Actually, because I am going on vacation for a week. Um, if Aerosol does come back, I will pre-record some videos for that week. If not, then I won't probably upload for another week. I may all use, I'll pre-record with this screen record, actually. But, yeah, guys. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.